Hey, I don't even brush my teeth. I just say PS5 when I look in the mirror. And that is PlayStation. Okay, I'm sorry. How's it going, bros? My name is PewDiePie, and welcome back to another cringy ass video on the dark web. And today's video is not that special, but it's still pretty funny because we've got another amazing Lucas video. How long has it been since I've uh, made one of those? I don't really know what to tell you guys. The dude just loves pumping out bad takes. And in all honesty, I just love making fun of them. And today we have yet another titled Final Fantasy VII has Xbox players crying. Laughing crying emoji. Now, I kind of had to Google what was actually going on here because I really had no idea. Apparently the Final Fantasy VII remake just released on PC and, you know, it didn't release on Xbox, which is what Lucas is using to cope. Since this month obviously hasn't been easy for him, I mean, a lot of PlayStation exclusives have come to PC. Spider-Man has been announced for PC, The Last of Us has been announced for PC, Persona 5 Royal has been announced for PC, which, in all honesty, I'm gonna be all over that. And now Final Fantasy VII has released on PC. So in all honesty, it really isn't an easy time to be a PlayStation fanboy, as they can basically no longer brag about a lot of these games being exclusive. And it's only a matter of time before Sony start doing day and date. So here we have the amazing Lucas coping by making fun of Xbox for not having Final Fantasy. Which honestly just makes the amazing Lucas look more sad and pathetic. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Look at the little Xbox players. You gonna cry? Yeah, sorry to inform you Lucas, but Xbox players aren't you reacting to Spider-Man coming to PC. I would play the shitty intro, but I've already used it for this video, I'm sorry. <laughs> Me when Spider-Man is announced for PC. Oh, the delicious Xbox tears. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so delicious. They're so delicious. You know, this makes me wonder if Lucas has ever tried Sony fanboy tears. I mean, Sony fanboy tears are fucking delicious. And oh, wait, shit. Those would be Lucas's tears. Oh, okay, never mind. How many times do I have to tell you dumb, short, Short? Question mark. I mean, I don't know what hype really has to do with anything here, but it's an amazing Lucas video. I also have no idea what anything has to do with anything here. Neck, beard, just demented Xbox players, okay? Okay, they're Xbox players, not Reddit moderators. I think you've gotten them a bit mixed up, like, I don't know, maybe a few things were just lost in translation here. How many times do I have to tell you? You have an entertainment console. That's what you have, okay? You do not have a gaming console, all right? Because in order to have a gaming console, you have to have games. <laughs> I wonder, how do we break the news to Lucas that third-party games exist? I would just tell him, but I don't know how he'll take it. Probably from behind. I mean, he does let Sony do it. What Phil Spencer wants for you guys is to, to, to watch Netflix, okay? That's what he wants you guys to watch. He wants you to watch Netflix and Hulu and to have access to movies and stuff like that while you're painting your nails with your Master Chief uh, nail polish. That's what he wants for y'all, okay? Is it just me or do I get the feeling that Lucas really wants to watch some movies on Netflix and Hulu and, you know, paint his nails with some Master Chief nail polish? I just get that feeling from how often he talks about Xbox nail polish and Xbox gamers being able to watch movies on their console. Which I mean, Lucas, I personally don't have an Xbox console, but I know you've got one, so you know, if you want to watch movies sometime and have a sleepover and, you know, paint each other's nails with some Master Chief nail polish, 
Then we can just sit around in a circle and talk about our crushes and shit. I'll even bring us a copy of Top Gun. I mean, Lucas, you can be my wingman any day. <laughs> now, I will show you what a gaming controller looks like. This, my friends, this is what a gaming controller looks like. Bro, that is little bitch shit. All my homies know that this is the only real gaming controller out there. Because this allows you to have access to games, bruh, not salt. I mean, nobody really needs an Xbox controller for that when they've got your videos. Although funnily enough, the amazing Lucas's videos also do happen to give me access to games as well by helping pay for them. Okay, to games, not crying. Believe me when I say, Lucas, I see enough crying in all of your videos. To games, okay, not remorse. Remorse? I mean, Jesus, man, it's a fucking game console. I'd hope no one's dying. To games, bruh, to games. Y'all don't know anything about that, huh? I mean, Lucas, have you tried playing any of those games that you brag about? Because I'm pretty sure at this point, even all the Xbox players that you talk about are playing more games than you. Now, they are crying about Final Fantasy, and bruh, I would be crying too. I mean, I could tell that much. You know, considering this is the same fucking guy who wanted to end his live stream so he could go cry about Spider-Man being released on PC. After seeing Starfield? <laughs> I would be in tears, okay? Anyone remember Lucas's absolutely galaxy-brained take on Starfield? Where he literally thought the only mechanics in the game were shooting and, you know, customizing a character in spaceship? Although really, did it come as a surprise to anyone that Lucas didn't like Starfield? I mean, it's not a Sony game. It's not too late to change your life. It's not too late to have access to the greatest gaming console to date, the PS5, okay? The PS5. Tell me that you would gladly suck Jim Ryan's cock if you could, without telling me that actually he basically just did tell me. This kind of doesn't work. Shit. Just say PS5 five times and don't look in the mirror and see if your teeth don't get wider, okay? PS5, 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 PS5. What the fuck was that supposed to achieve? Oh, oh shit! Now I wasn't supposed to let that secret out, but that's how that works, okay? I don't even brush my teeth! I mean, at least he's honest about it. I mean, you might want to talk to a dentist about that one. I just say PS5 when I look in the mirror. PS5, 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 and my teeth just get whiter, okay? I mean, technically it works if you're also brushing your teeth and using teeth whitener at the same time. That's how it works. We live differently. Have you ever seen a PS5 player? No, Lucas, never. You can tell that they're a PS5 player because we don't walk. We just float everywhere. We just, we just float. We just float everywhere, bruh. Because we're, it's not even us walking, right? We're, we're floating on top of our game. Now, I have to admit, this is actually kind of true because, you know, I always thought it was kind of weird how PlayStation fanboys walk around with the discs of their games taped underneath their shoes. I always thought it was more like stilts than floating, but I, I don't know, that's just me. To the, un uh, to the untrained eye, it looks like we're walking, but we're not. We're floating, we're floating on, on God of War Ragnarok. A game that isn't out yet. Spider-Man, uh, uh, Spider-Man 2. A game that also isn't out yet. Like, Lucas, you might want to choose from some games that are already out yet. You know, Horizon Forbidden West. A game that was forgotten about literally two seconds after Elden Ring came out, which was literally just bigger and better in every single way, and is also multi-platform, and also on Xbox. I know that because I know a lot of Xbox people who have played the game. This is a time when we have to address the degenerates. The, the, the PC peasants. Shut the fuck up, nobody cares. Know your goddamn place. Filthy console peasant. So that's what y'all are. Listen, if y'all waiting four years for a game, you're a peasant, okay? That's what y'all are. I mean, it's barely a wait when you have other things to play or, you know, God forbid, other hobbies besides gaming. I mean, it's not like third-party games exist on PC or anything like that. The only game developers are Sony and Microsoft. These mofos waiting four years for a game. Damn! 
It d does that not show you the power of PlayStation? No, it really doesn't. It only further demonstrates the power of PC, since there's literally such an abundance of games that, you know, it really doesn't matter too much that Sony aren't releasing their games on PC, since there's literally a million other things that we could play. Although it is pretty cool that they now are. You have mofos waiting years to get your hands on Spider-Man. You have mofos waiting years to get your hand on God of War. You have mofos waiting years to get your hand on Horizon. I know, it's almost like there's so many games on PC to choose from that it literally doesn't matter waiting a couple years to get a few games from one developer because there are literally thousands of other games that we could be playing instead. It's almost like PC gamers are spoiled for choice. That just shows you the quality, the quality that is at PlayStation, the quality, all right? You know, I think if there was so much quality at PlayStation, a lot of us wouldn't be willing to wait years to get these games and, you know, Sony wouldn't be needing to port their games to PC. Because all of us would have just gotten a PS5 instead of waiting all this time and playing other games. That these mofos are waiting for the game, just Is it, can we get some of that Spider-Man? Please release it on PC. Please release it on PC. You know, I think if we were all that desperate for Spider-Man, we would have gotten PlayStations by now. But it clearly shows you that we aren't. Bruh, they got, PlayStation got them on like, like drug addicts, bruh. They, by the time they are finished playing Spider-Man on PC, they go, what are they gonna wanna play? Okay, guys, just let me try and guess what he's gonna say here. Okay, um, Elden Ring. Spider-Man 2. Oh, uh, motherfucker. Guess where Spider-Man 2 is gonna only be on? PlayStation 5. <laughs> Until like, I don't know, three years later, when they eventually port it to PC, which they definitely will do if they're porting all their current games to PC. And then after that, it really is only a matter of time before we see day and date. Bruh, it's sad, bruh, it's sad. It's sad to see them. It's sad to see people like that, man. Honestly, this kind of sounds like me talking about half the people that I cover on this channel. Which, yes, includes the amazing Lucas. Because, you know, they tweeting about it, crying about, They don't love us! Xbox don't love us! Why can't we get Minecraft exclusives? <laughs> Honestly, that just sounds like Lucas whenever Sony announced that they're porting one of their exclusives to PC. Like, just re-watch the God of War video that I made at the start of this year, and just tell me Lucas doesn't give off that same energy. What? The, bruh, they went so far as to put out a change.org petition to boycott Bethesda. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty funny. I'll give him that one. Bruh, you know how you know an Xbox player when you see one? Ask him to write out the alphabet, bruh. Ask him to write the, <laughs> ask him to write the alphabet. They won't be able to do it. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of convinced, though, that the amazing Lucas probably wouldn't be able to do that either. They won't be able to do it. All they know is the letter L, bruh. That's all they know. Kind of convinced that this may also be applicable to the amazing Lucas, since, you know, literally every video this guy makes is an L. It's so sad, but I know, I know, y'all got, y'all got your, 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 your sea of thieves or whatever y'all got going on. I mean, if you get some friends together and play some sea of thieves, it's actually really fun. Oh, wait, shit. I just realized Lucas won't be able to do that because, you know, it kind of requires you to have friends. Fuck. Uh, y'all got your, y'all got your gunk. I understand. I mean, Lucas, if you really want, I can buy you a copy of gunk with all the money that I'm making off of these videos that I make about you. I mean, in all honesty, it kind of seems like you really want to play it, and really, it's the least I could do to repay you for allowing me to sustain my addiction to medium cappuccinos and cocaine. But listen, if you, it is not too late. It is not too late to come. Anyway, I don't really care about the rest of this video. I'd kind of like to wrap this one up, upload it to YouTube, and then slap some mid-rolls on it. So that's going to be the end of today's video. If you did enjoy, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Turn on those post notifications. Follow me on Twitter, at JordanCSNo. Subscribe to the second channel, JordanCS2. 
Links to both of those will be in the description. Please don't send any hate over to the amazing Lucas. It's really unneeded. But that's all for today. So until the next one, yibbity yibbity, that, that's all, folks. I'm fucking autistic.